In a recent video, I talked about rock solid carriers. Carriers that would be good to be working for when there's a downturn in the freight, the way there is now. Now, a little bit of housekeeping first, a few things we have to establish. This video is completely unsponsored. I'm not making a red cent off of this video. Number two, you may ask, well, what qualifies you to be uh, compiling this list of good carriers? Let me tell you, number one, in 48 years of trucking, I've talked to thousands of drivers about their carriers and what they like about them. Number two, at Smart Trucking, we receive thousands of comments and emails from drivers and they tell us all about the carriers that they're working for. Number three, we have done a ton of research to be able to compile this list of carriers, good rock solid carriers for you. What we look for were carriers that had a history of financial stability, that had a low driver turnover, carriers that replaced their equipment all the time so they always had new equipment, and carriers that treated their drivers with respect. These are carriers that will easily survive this downturn in trucking. Now, it's interesting to note that a few of these carriers could be considered mega carriers, surely because of their size, but that does not have any bearing on how they treat their drivers. If they treat their drivers well, that's what I'm interested in. Here, in no particular order, are these rock solid carriers. Heartland Express, based out of Iowa. Now Heartland Express could be considered a mega carrier. They've got thousands of trucks, they've got many terminals across the USA, but somehow they have managed to keep that family owned feel within that carrier. They replace their trucks every two years, they pay their drivers well, they respect them well, they come highly rated, they're a good place to work. Nussbaum, based out of Hudson, Illinois. Nussbaum, a carrier that has roughly 500 trucks, but they run all 48 states. This carrier boasts one of the lowest driver turnovers in the industry. And that's a good thing because it means the drivers there are satisfied. Something else interesting about Nussbaum is they are 35% owned by their employees. Pride Transportation, based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Pride Transportation is one of those few trucking companies that's owned and run by a true long haul driver. They have roughly 500 trucks. They operate through all 48 states. It's reefer work and they turn over their trucks every two years. You've got new equipment every two years. In fact, check out the video that we did on Pride. Crete Schaefer Group, based out of Nebraska. Crete Schaefer could be considered a mega carrier. They've got 20 terminals scattered across the USA, but they're known for their top pay. They replace their trucks every four years, and this is a carrier that always seems to be busy. Heil Truck Lines, based out of Iowa. This is a smaller family-owned trucking company that's based out of Iowa, but has terminals in Florida, Texas, and Alberta. They run about 500 trucks, they're a dry freight and reefer operation, well-respected company. Been around for years. Walmart fleet with terminals all over the countryside. Walmart is definitely the biggest carrier on our list. Definitely a mega fleet. Over 12,000 drivers. They have their own in-house driver training facility and Walmart drivers receive top pay. Some of them grossing 110,000 a year or more. Western Distributing based out of Denver, Colorado. Western Distributing is another family-owned trucking company. They're in their third generation of operation now. And one of the best things about Western Distributing is they run the nicest looking trucks on the road. They are probably the only large carrier that I can think of still running long hood trucks. Not the best pay perhaps, but definitely a family tradition working there. And they've got a lot of pride in their equipment. GP Transco, based out of Joliet, Illinois. GP Transco operates roughly 500 trucks. They're an award-winning carrier. Pay their drivers well, treat their drivers very well, and are constantly updating them with brand new trucks. So there you have it. Now my list consists of high-profile, well-known carriers, but that does not mean that that lists every carrier in the book when it comes to well-operated trucking companies. There are many smaller trucking companies, family operations that would be well worth researching and it's up to you to do that. In fact, if you're looking for a more extensive list 
on good trucking companies, go to our website and check out the post on top trucking companies in the USA. You'll find the link in the description box below. One of the top secrets in having a successful trucking career is to find the right carrier to work for. I hope this video and the list on our website help you find the carrier that you're searching for. Stay safe, keep the rubber side down, and I'll see you on the backhaul.